The following program may contain content that some viewers find offensive, flashing lights, etc., etc. Y'all know what you're getting into. Please welcome to the stage the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Woo! The bop. Oh, those are those are some late subtitles. Boop. Come and cheese and quackers. Everybody. Welcome to Summer Game Fest 2024. Enjoy. Video games. Enjoy the lurk. You just robbed we the bank. What'd you miss? So Nothing. To be here with you, and this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube Theater here in LA. Now, if you're watching this show, first of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games, you deeply care about this art form and the health of this industry. The good news is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from creators around the world over the next two hours. I am gonna bump audio a little bit. So get you a little too loud, let me know. But let's also face it, this has been a tumultuous and difficult year with company layoffs and studio closures, which have disappointed all of us. Yeah. But there's also something else happening. Our industry is evolving and changing. And thanks to digital distribution, smaller teams and new creators are finding incredible success. Take a look at this list from Game Discover of the top 10 best-selling new games on Steam so far this year. Wow. Two of them are considered, you know, big company games, but the other eight come from indie, mid-sized teams or solo Dang, developers. Dang, Hades 2 and it came out less than a month ago. List, it's Ooh. pretty cool, right? And I get inspired. Two hours? I know! Ideas, Are you leggings? And smaller creators can and will break through. It's a reminder to big companies that they have to treat their developers right because today there are many paths to sustainability and success. And that's what makes this industry so, so great. There we go. Woo! And you'll see that reflected in the show today because over the next two hours, We'll have big franchises on stage like Star Wars, Batman, and Harry Potter, but also smaller titles, including a few games made by single individuals and first-time creators that we invited to be part of this show because we Woo. think this platform is important as a way to show you new things that you might not even know about. So hey, Lady A's, how are you? your interest, please wish list it, or even better, send it to a friend and get them excited. That's is she powerful? How we what? Together <laughs> can grow the gaming community. And we are gonna do that today over the next Oh, Hades two too. Oh, 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 to yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, Day of the Devs directly after with even more indie Yeah, tales. I've been seeing a uh, Kellyfish stream that, and it's like, oh, everybody's pretty. All right, it all begins right now. Here's our first announcement. Woo! <laughs> Next. Uh, hey, look, this is a hot dog guy auditioning for the, um, ooh, the lead in unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Okay, okay. Mm -la -la -la. Rage! Empathy. Oh, hilarity! <laughs> this guy! Strength! Oh, yeah. oh. What game is this anyway? What? <laughs> Me one of those. Ooh, sandwich. Lego Horizon. Lego Horizon. That hot dog guy is Aloy, an amazing video game lead. Thunderjaw went mad and is tearing through the valley. Don't worry, I'll bring it down. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh my word. And fire attack. A lonely hero. Hunt I did not expect Lego Horizon. Hello. I have friends, you know. Let's do this. Um, right. A friendly hero <laughs> hunting with her pal. I mean, I guess with. Oh my gosh! Someone throws a shark. Exploring. And I guess with like all like technicalities and stuff, and how the the creatures look. I guess that makes sense. Oh my god. Welcome in. Would you miss nothing? This is the first announcement. 
and it's Lego Horizon. Down you go. That was a Lego Fortnite. This is Horizon, though. I played Horizon. I loved it. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I dig it. I dig it. There you go. Didn't Wasn't see it coming, fun? but. That was Lego Horizon Adventures coming out later this year for PlayStation, but also day one on PC and Nintendo Switch. It's a playful, lighthearted story inspired by the world of Horizon designed with two player action in mind, supporting couch and online co op. All right, now we're going to completely shift the tone to the next game from Torn Banner Studios, the developers behind Chivalry 2. For their next project, they are proud to announce No More Room in Hell 2, the sequel to the 2011 award-winning source mod. Eight players start separate in the dark, and it's up to you to find your friends and survive with mm. permadeath. Here is the first look. Ooh, creepy. Lego Dark Souls next. Lego GTA. Lego GTA might actually be sick, though. Oh. Uh, violence warning. Big violence warning, so. And language. Again. Y'all watch an event like this, you know what you're getting into. You know some of it won't be family friendly. GTA 6, though. I know, people are still looking for 6. A-player looks kind of fun. Oh, hi. Gives me very, uh... Oh, wow. Gives me very, uh, Left 4 Dead vibes. Coming this Halloween. Looks really, really intense. All right. To introduce our next game, please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals, like Street Fighter VI a few years ago, and, of course, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year, she's joining us on stage... <laughs> We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. Thank you, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight reader. to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated game from a beloved franchise. Let's take a look. As young witches and wizards, we all dream oh. of soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? Oh, is that Jenny? To beat your toughest opponent? To keep your composure in the face of adversity? To chase your dreams at any price? Seek glory for your team. No challenge is too great. No dream is too big. So ask yourself, hmm. do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of the Quidditch champion? Harry Potter Quidditch champions, okay. September 3rd. Wow, that's that's coming soon. That's nice. That's Harry Potter Quidditch Champions launching worldwide on September 3rd for consoles and PC. Now we move from the Potterverse to a brand new world. It hails from a single developer, Gavin Eisenbeis, up in Seattle, who has been making games all by himself for a decade. 
His last title, Choo Choo Charles, was a fan favorite, <laughs> and he showed me this next game a few months ago, and I really wanted to debut it here. Uh -oh. Get ready to backstab, race, or cooperate with up to 20 of your friends in Cuff Bust. What? <laughs> This is certainly a different vibe from Choo Choo Charles. Jaliens. Okay, I will admit this looks hairy, but this looks super cute. That's a fun one, right? I remember that's oh, all made Lord. by one person. Congratulations, Gavin. So glad to have that on stage. All right, next one of this year's most anticipated games is Star Wars Outlaws, coming out on August 30th oh, yeah. from Ubisoft and Lucasfilm Games, the first open world Star Wars game where you live the life of a scoundrel. On Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, you'll get to see a full gameplay showcase during Ubisoft's Forward event, streaming as part oh, wow. of the continuing Summer Game Fest events. But right now, get on it, Star we've Wars got fans. an exclusive new glimpse at the game, just a small taste of what's to come. A friend needs a little something stolen. Let's raise the stakes, shall we? Any Star Wars fans in chat? He cases me. And yeah, there you go. You'll get more of a look of it on Monday. I think I spotted Lando there. So great. And by the way, I'm just noticing everything we're showing you so far, I think is going to be, you know, coming out nice uh, full you know, house. this year. Cuff Bust, I'm not quite sure, but it's like it's so cool. Oh boy, I love Star Trek. We're going to get to play in the next <laughs> few months here. All right, well, moving back to smaller teams. A few weeks ago, I had a chance to play through this next game, and I have to say it is really spectacular. Neva comes from Nomada Studio, the creators of the game award winning game Grease. It chronicles the story Ooh. of Alba, a woman bound to a curious wolf cub. Here's your first ever look at the gameplay. Yo, let's go. We loved Grease, we cried to it, and we saw this, it was like, dude, another game we're probably gonna cry to. Neva. Art style is so pretty. So pretty. Wolfie! No. Oh. 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 He big.
Okay, but... Like, actual combat, right? No. That's so big. And when they say never, never. Trust me, that game is such a true work of art, especially when you get into some of the combat. It is tons of fun to play. And there's much more coming later today in the Devolver Direct, which will air directly after Day of the Devs on this same stream. So we have oh, lots really? More for you. Huh. All right, next, it's time for our next game announcement. Study the past if you would define the future. All are architects of fate. Working in these walls of time. Hmm. Let us all for death prepare. Or on the last great journey fair. Oh, is this Civ? Let me not then die ingloriously and without a struggle. But let me first do some great <laughs> thing that shall be told among men. Lloyd. Hey, violinist. Each oh, I don't minstrels lurking. This world's life until the end. Your names shall not be lost. So it shall be. So it shall be. So it shall be. Civ 7. I mean, 2025. There you go, people. And a gameplay Hello, showcase. Everyone, Summer Game Fest. On behalf of the Firaxis team, That's we a big are piece thrilled of to finally announce that Civilization 7 is coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. I'm in awe of the amazing team that has brought us to this moment, but we also have to thank you our incredible fans around the world for your overwhelming support of this franchise for over 30 years. We can't wait to share more, and we hope you'll join us later this summer for the full reveal of Civilization VII. In the meantime, stay civilized. <laughs> he kind of seems like the Mr. Rogers of that team. That's cute. Three Kingdoms thing. Deluxe set. Holy heck. That's a lot of stuff. Can't tell if he's more of a monkey or a person. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think we saw a little bit of this. It's like it was VR, so. Yeah, Asgard's. Asgard's Wrath 2. Perhaps humans were fated to build the monoliths. Oh. Reaching heaven and returning with a gift. Stardust. But mankind was given more than it wished for. Not progress, but chaos. Every new height brings a terrible fall. Ooh. 
and yet hope still glimmers even in the depths of the unknown also warning ads are about to play here in a minute again i don't have a little ad thing on here just because you know but ads are going to play i appreciate you guys' patience we try to only fit three minutes of ads in per hour to turn on pre-rolls y'all know the drill show the greatest resilience hopefully hopefully we might hit a lull in some of the announcements here we remain standing we stand together Oh, he big. What does greatness mean to you? Okay. So basically, like Game Pass, but with Samsung. That is cool though, where it's like, hey, you don't need a console to play a lot of really of cool games and stuff. Before. Only these past two days. Oh. Then there is much to learn. It's Helldivers. Oh no, uh War Hammer or something. I will take you all with me. Brother, we fight! Yeah, Warhammer forty thousand. Okay. All right, welcome Perfect. back to Summer Game Fest. Uh, we've got some amazing developer guests joining us throughout the show, and I'm very Thanks. excited to introduce oh, our geez. first guests. They are legendary creators who are working on a brand new fantasy RPG metaphor slated to launch this October. Please welcome the director and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5, Katsura Hashino and Shikanori Sojima. Oh, ho. Oh, yeah, this game. 45 seconds. Thank you, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here. My name is Hashino, and I am the director of Metaphor. It is a pleasure to be here with Mr. Soejima. This game is an RPG in which the party members transform into their jobs, which we call archetypes. These archetypes allow you to fight against your enemies. Hmm. Thank you guys for your patience with the ads. No, I haven't missed too much. Just a Warhammer 40,000 ad and introducing these devs. Or a metaphor, the new like Persona, Persona-esque game. Archetypes are the embodiment of power born from the will to face your fears and anxieties. We gave it our all to instill each and every archetype with a feeling of strength and uniqueness in each of their designs. In total, there will be more than 40 types of archetypes available in the game. These archetypes Ooh. can gain experience and even evolve. Some of them can evolve into stronger versions. So that means different jobs. That's kind of cool. Because most of the time, Persona games have always had, like, you know, set skills and stuff. So having different jobs is kind of cool. Yeah, 40 jobs. Or archetypes. Archetypes? Archetypes? So we are pouring all of our acquired expertise into this game to make it as exciting Ninja as possible. Ninja Merchant? In fact, we've Commander. even brought our latest trailer today. They look like they're showing off all of them on the back. Archetypes. Back thing. Thank you very much, and we hope you This is you a Persona it. game. It's from the Persona Studio. Uh, Metaphor de Fantisio. It is said that we all have inherited heroic virtues deep within us. So yeah, that ad break like hit right at the right point. I feel. The reality is, we oppress, we fight. A great evil flows through this land. You have found a way to wield true magic. Many 
more protectors and followers will gather to your side. Remind people that the same powers lie dormant within them. On guard! You must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. Archetypes. Okay. Archetype whose existence was only theoretical. You wield power now. Well, definitely looks cool. It looks, it looks, you know, fantasy. Metaphor Refantizio. Over eleven. Can't lie to me, that's just the Persona 3 protagonists. Such an honor to have Hashino and Shojima with us uh, <laughs> on stage. Thank you guys, and for that deep look at the archetype, such stunning visual designs. Now we're going to jump into yeah, the Arkhamverse. Like really good. Batman Arkham Shadow is a MetaQuest 3 exclusive oh. VR game coming later this year. As Batman, you face a new threat, the mysterious Rat King and his cult. I wonder if this is supposed to be like a Here's your first look an extension of the Arkham series. For Batman Arkham Shadow. You know, like Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, um, Arkham Knight, and such. There's a new darkness overtaking Gotham, driving the city mad. The only light left is from the fire in the streets, casting shadows of rats on everything that was once good. Huh. Fear is their weapon. But they're not the only ones who can use it. The Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy my city. How far will I go to destroy him? It does sound cool, though. I'm curious how it'll do on the the meta quest, though, if it's only for VR. I mean, it sounds like a really cool concept. When the bat falls, the rats rise. I am looking forward to heading back to the Arkhamverse. Now, it is time to update fans on a legendary fighting game franchise. And that includes me. Because I have been a fan of this series ever since one of its first iteration and have been playing each one ever since. So, let's check it out. I like her, she's, she, she's bubbly. To head off. Have a good one, Lloyd. Thank you again for the raid. Hope you have a lovely evening or day. So, is this Street Fighter or is this something else? I think. Okay, it is Street Fighter. I've never been a big fighter person. Like, I'll play games if someone has it. I've never been a big fighter. Oh, Bison. I do recognize that, though. Because I did grow up playing Street Fighter 2 on the SNES when I was a kid. Blanca? Scots rebelled? Oh. Ah! 
Violence warning. So is this going to be like fantasy Braveheart? Fantasy Braveheart with uh what's it? The Three Houses Legend of Zelda thing. It looks cool, but it also looks heckin' violent for me. Looks like Braveheart meets Diablo. Mm -hmm. Oh, power. Dragon Ball game. Yes, we'll see. This will be when the true battle begins. For the most part of what I've seen, the Dragon Ball games have always looked good. Like they always looked fun while having like lots of series references. Time they always go through like one or more of the the storylines, but this one covers a lot. Like even some of these I recognize from like the original like Super Saiyan series, Namek, uh, Boo, and all that. There you go, Internet. We got your release date for Sparking Zero, October 11th. Now we step into the world of Delta Force Hawk Ops, a free-to-play tactical shooter available to play on all platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer FPS extraction mode. Team, rally There's up. been a lot of free shooters coming mission. out lately. Operation Lightning Strike. This what this one? Xdeviant and such. Of course, Fortnite. Fortnite keeps putting out more stuff. Objective. Collect and decode the mandal brick located at the tourist center at the southeast. Of course, there's always a classic pub guy. Yeah. Utilize terrain for stealth insertion. Execute swiftly and silently. We're in position. Looks like someone beat us to it. We need to pick up the pace. Runa, clean the balcony. On your mark. Go, go, go. Clear the area. Go, go. I'm going in. What kind of games does, does everyone in chat play? I mean, again, y'all know me. Like, RPGs, cute, wholesome, comfy, farm. Indies and things and Nintendo games. That's all for mission briefing. The drill is over. Operation commences. I'll play shooter on occasionally whenever I get, you know, finally get PUBG re downloaded again. But that is not all. The game's premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, is a reimagining of the original game that is also fully licensed to recreate moments from the award winning Ridley Scott movie. Here is your world premiere first look at that gameplay. I 
was done after a movie. Turn-based oh, RPGs, story-heavy and visual novels, too, there. Oh, Lady A's, if you like visual novels, have you looked into, uh, Tavern Talk? Again, it looks, this looks good. But I don't really know how to, how to judge good shooters. No, oh, you should. There's a demo out for it. There's supposed to be an upgraded demo come with the uh, Steam Next Fest next week. And now, I but have a an tavern talk. On Fatal Very Fury, cute. City of the Wolves. <laughs> for real this time. It's supposed to be like coffee talk in D and D. I mean, there was another one, uh, I downloaded the demo for it because I found it through the Gorilla Collection presentation yesterday. Oh. Yeah. Y'all know, y'all know what we're going to be seeing with games like this or presentations like this. But, uh, uh what was it called? Something Rapture that was like, it kind of looked like a, uh, old-fashioned SNES, uh, RPG. Belated Rapture? And just all the announcements, all the demos and everything. So now we're getting kind of some of the the techie sponsors and stuff where it's like, you know, play it off of this, play it on this, have this hardware, etc. Water Princess. He yeah, looks cute. Oh. Like, again, we're getting trailers that are, like, good introductions and stuff, and I know it's also not showing, like, any of the gameplay. To, like, know what the game is gonna be like, so... Oh! Never mind! Huh. Greek mythology battle game? I see mechs like this and my mind goes to Macross. One mech game that came out about a year or two ago that looked really cool. Hmm. 
Again, I'm so out of touch with games that are like out of my wheelhouse. Mecha break. We're back here at Summer Game Fest, and that was a look at Mecha Break with its immersive aerial and ground combat with lightning fast maneuvers. Next, Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become synonymous with incredible horror films over the years, like Get Out, Megan, and last year's Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. Huh. Dark times await us. Vengeance will take shape. Ooh! I cannot sleep. Grave seasons! I cannot sleep. That's supposed to be like I the Stardew Valley sleep. like with a serial killer. I am terrified to sleep, and I am scared to death to stay awake. Don't worry, Viv. If any ghosts actually show up, I'll protect you. Amy? I'll save you, no matter what. Just go home, Viv. Amy! The local police department asked me to help with a case. Why would they need a game designer? Okay, so these are all different games, but they look really cool, mode. so I guess they're a publisher? Dark times await us. Looks cool. So yeah, they have to be a publisher with all the different games they were showing off. Still a look at Grave Seasons, that was cool. Please welcome Jason Blum, CEO and founder of Blumhouse and Let's Louise see. Blaine, creative lead at Blumhouse Games. Hey guys, so we got ourselves a full slate there. That's incredible. So, so Jason, tell us a bit about uh, why did you want to get into games like this? What are we doing? Well, we've been uh, very, very busy. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys all. Great to hear uh, the fans out there. Uh, you'll, you'll all be very happy to know we're working at this very minute on the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's coming. Woo! Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, horror is... Uh, Question is, Markiplier going to be in at this time? Belief, getting <laughs> more and more popular. Our movies are working. It's working on streaming. It's working in live events. And we wanted to try and take our approach to movies and apply it to games. And that's what you see here. We're going to do independent games. We're going to look for creators and give them a platform and, and encourage That's really these cool, though, especially that they're taking on so many different ones, but also Grave Seasons. And find up scariest things they can and put them into really <laughs> cool games. <laughs> well, they, they, look, they look great. It's a really diverse, cool slate. Uh, Luis, tell us a bit about, we saw a bunch of games there. What can you tell us about kind of the overall lineup of games? Well, as you just saw from our slate, our horror games are a lot like Blumhouse movies. They come in many different flavors of fear, which means there's a horror game for everyone. So maybe you're a fan of nostalgic 90s experiences with a bit of a twist, intense first-person shooters, or maybe, Jeff, you just want some bonus murder in your otherwise very cozy farming sim. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I think, you know, we as horror fans, we know that there are so many different subgenres to explore. And our independent. I mean, I would be down to try out Grave Seasons. Same, and they're just as excited, which means we've got cycle. Again, I love all the kind of like we have supernatural farming Stardew like spin offs horror. that are and coming our team out. has worked really hard to work with global, creative, talented partners. And that means for us that we really want to. 
as we're working in indie projects, yeah. which means that we can take risks. You know, we can be flexible, and really we can push the limits of what's possible in scary storytelling, and we're so excited. Yeah, no, it, it looks looks awesome, all the stuff you have there, and I know, Woo! you know, we'll get into I mean, a lot the of the other titles look out, really cool. Some of these are coming soon, Jason. So I'm right? excited for, like, well, yeah, we're on, uh, we're on PC and console. A lot of uh, and, horror um, creators and, uh, to play yeah, those games. we wanted to start with, uh, with not just one, but we wanted to start with a few games. So uh, so you want to you wanna tell us about those? Yeah, so Fear the Spotlight is our first release coming yeah. later this year, and it really hits our mission statement. It's an amazing 90s horror experience. It's got great characters, a compelling narrative. It's also super creepy and I think people will be big fans of it even if you're not normally into horror and quickly actually Fear the Spotlight is getting its first trailer as part of the yeah. Day of the Dev showcase so stay tuned after the show. Oh. Awesome. Well I know this is just the start so we'll probably be seeing you in future years with more from uh, Blumhouse Games but guys what do you think of the slate? Pretty amazing right what these guys are pulling off. Jason, Luis, thanks so much for being here on Summer Game. Thank you guys. All right and now here's the world premiere of a brand new Power Rangers game with a what? retro feel. What? Wasn't seeing a Power Rangers game on the bingo board. Oh. Beat him up, okay. I know a couple people that would be fans of this. It looks good from what I've seen, so... This looks super cute. Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, they grow up! Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, what I like a that. beautiful game, Dear and Boy, which comes from first-time developer Jason Houdet in Paris, who started that project alone in 2020 during the pandemic and now has a team of eight helping him realize his vision with financial aid from the French government and games like that or why we do this show, giving first-time developers a chance to show you what they're working on. All right, next, after a long wait, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is arriving later this year. This is a first-person open-world action RPG from Warhorse Studios. Here is a brand new look. Hmm. The best laid plans of men don't always come to fruition. Man proposes, but God disposes. And 
then boots you right in the bowls. <laughs> These two young fellas, I need to find them. One's a smart ass smith, and the other's a blue blooded fledgling. You behave like a spoiled brat. How dare you speak? <laughs> Gentlemen, praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father. There are many sinners in this world. Oh boy. Oh. But in the end, we all face your judgment for what we should have done, but lacked the courage to do. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Oh. It's our asses! God, is this retribution for my sins? Well, yeah. Big, big content warning here, chat. <laughs> Woo! This is very much a mature game. Come on! Like, it looks good, and it seemed like it would be cool, but oh boy. Next, we step into the dark mind of Silent Hill creator Keuchiro Toyama-san. Uh, back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitterhead, at the Game Awards, and now we're giving oh, you yeah. a look at the gameplay from his independent Tokyo-based studio. I've been seeing a couple people talk about this. Oh, it is a horror game, so uh, likely violence warning, chat. What? With possession? Ew. Well, it certainly looks very Japanese horror-esque. Different characters, though. Interesting. Hmm. Again, it looks fantastic, but it also looks very violent, so... Again, for games like this, I know that there's going to be a lot of uh, content creators that I watch that play horror games that are going to be very excited about stuff like this. Doggy. What is that? I only know characters like this from this one, like, 7 TV emote I've seen on other channels. I have no idea what this is. That's what I call a dramatic entrance. There's a reason why I'm called Killer Bean. It's because I'm good at what I do. Really. Really. Good. I used to be an assassin for the Shadow Agency. An international organization powerful enough to shape the world. Until they lied to me and tried to kill me. Now, 
I'm gonna destroy them. <laughs> You're the gosh darn idiot who wants to take down the Shadow Agency! <laughs> Well, it is sure nice to meet you. Before you die. Sounds like Mr. Krabs. What is this? It's so silly. But it's like it has like a brawler shoot him up. them pay for it. <laughs> Glad you like that one. That was Killer Bean, a third-person roguelike shooter made by another single developer, believe it or not, right here in Los Angeles, Jeff Liu, who previously wow. worked as an animator on movies like The Matrix Reloaded. Um, so fun. It's amazing what can happen in this industry. All right, to introduce their brand new game, please welcome from the Game Bakers, a small independent studio in Montpellier, France, Audrey Le Prince and Emmerich Toa. Hello, Jeff, everyone. I'm very happy to be here. When we created our studio, Emmerich and I, we promised each other to always uh, come up with something new. So after Fury and Haven, we're here to introduce our new game. The Game Care, Bakers. A survival climber. Cute. When I was a teenager, uh, my dad prepared an expedition to Mount K2, but half of his team didn't come back. And I've always wondered why do alpinists risk their lives in such extreme conditions? This is something we wanted to explore uh, in Cairn. Cairn is a game about what it takes to go beyond your limits. You climb a mountain to reach a summit never reached before. And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. It's very intense and realistic. It's a face-off between you and the mountain. And what you're going to see in the trailer is not from cutscenes. It's the actual climbing gameplay. <laughs> you can see more later today during Day of the Devs, but now let's have a look. Looks cool. <laughs> Frustrated scream was a mood, yeah. I'm not meant to be here. I'm a fighter. I'm meant to be in the arena, in combat. But instead, I'm out here in the middle of the woods, running a tea shop. So what does running a tea shop involve? Well, there's a lot of gardening, and I've had to get used to the pretty unique tea machine they've got here. None of these tasks are all that hard. They just take patience. No, I'm not really the patient type, but I'm surviving. <laughs> yeah, tea maker. Course, I have to actually serve the tea to our customers. It looks neat. And once <laughs> that's done, I'll usually check in with Boro, the guy who owns the shop. 
to see if my help is needed anywhere. And when all the chores are done, Herb. sometimes I'll just sit on a bench and do absolutely nothing. It's not fighting, but it's peaceful. And what's weird is that I actually feel good. I'm happy. I can stop running now. I can stop. I can stop. I can stop running. This is good for me. Uh -oh. I need to enjoy this. I feel good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. This looks neat though. Like a tea making sim, like a life sim, but with that a little bit of intrigue. Stop the announcement of the next game from Davy Redden, the creator of the Stanley Parable. I sense there's a twist coming as you would expect from him and Ivy Rose. Tea and trauma, yes, yeah, like tea and that. cookies. All right, now here's a look at the story trailer for Unknown Nine Awakening, a narrative action adventure game that tells I'll the story. I'll have to find the list for like all the games that are being released the here. To venture into the fold, a dimension that overlaps. I'm sure somebody will. Put that together somewhere. Turn your thoughts inward and focus on your shade. Do you feel it? I do. Your progress is impressive lately, Aruna. These are incredible. They called themselves the Sahin. Nine among them were chosen and shielded from death. The unknown nine. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Humanity has lived for eons at the mercy of the Nine. It's time we took control of our own destiny. Hmm. Why are you so interested in Vincent, anyhow? He killed someone I loved. Remember stepping. Find your target and bridge the gap. You don't belong here. You're wrong. This is exactly where I'm meant to be. The fold is a strange place. Vincent found something down there. It looks cool. Hey, how about we see the world together? I finally oh, have Monster some Hunter stories. Oh, wow, releasing text. in next I'll week? Week from today. Oh, hey, Capcom sales. like a souls like but with different powers oh
There's a demo out right now. All right, we're back here live for more Summer Game Fest. The first yeah, we're only an hour through this thing. Real My Engine goodness. Five is a next-gen looter shooter with dynamic cooperative gameplay, including a grappling hook mechanic. It is finally set for release, and we're very happy here to debut the new trailer and the reveal of the release date. What's everybody think about this so far? Any games you're looking forward to or curious about? Again, Tea House looks cool. That there was a little more teasing about Grave Seasons was really cool. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, uh, Neva, of course. Neva. Is this another hero shooter? Like a hero battle royale? That looks awesome. The first Descendant will be available across PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. Wishlist it now and prepare for the release on July 2nd. And now, please welcome two developers whose hit indie game, Among Us, took the world by storm Ooh. and a couple of game awards. <laughs> From Inner Sloth, here are Victoria Tran and Forrest Willard. What's up, gamers? Yeah! <laughs> can, you, can you believe they just let us be on this stage? Like, no chaperones. Like, I know. Can we announce something totally fake? Oh, do you, do like, you think they'll let us do that? Among Us 2? Among Us 3? 4? Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you all today. Uh, there's been so many great indie games in recent years, but it's also been a se no secret that it's kind of a rough time in the industry. Some devs don't really get the chance they deserve, so we thought we could help out a little bit. That's why we're excited to announce our side project, Outer Sloth, an indie game fund we made that offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among E days. This is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates, players, peers, by helping some games and devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games. Aww. And then we all get to play them which was the real plan. I, I really want games. Aww. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. We are really excited and incredibly, incredibly nervous <laughs> to reveal it here and show you the current lineup of games we've managed to fund because of you. And don't worry, Jeff, it has your favorite, a ton of world premieres. Enjoy. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm 
Ian from Shapeshot, and you may already be playing our first game, Mars First Logistics. We are Trinket Studios, creators of Battle Chef Brigade, and this is our card battler RPG, oh. Battle Suit Aces. Interesting. We are Studio Any Percent, and we are making the Marsfield Archives, a game about building and exploring connections. Hi, we're Midnight Munches. We just released a demo for One Button Bosses, our boss rush game with a single button to press and a ton of bosses to beat. Huh. Hey, I'm Husband, game director at Huscrofts, and this is Rogue Eclipse, our epic spaceflight action roguelike, where you'll have to customize and master your starfighter, take on merciless armadas, and vanquish a fleet of colossal super destroyers. And we do have one more game that's very early in development. Hi, I'm Eka, creative director of Outer Loop Games, makers of Thirsty Suitors, and Falcon Age. In our new game, explore the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local communities. Ooh. Buy off corpos, discover new dosa recipes, and reunite with your strange loved ones for one last meal. Project Dosa is a game about life, death, love, and food for the soul. That's so cool! <laughs> Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? <laughs> Sounds I like heard something did. about yes, it. There's going to be an Among Us TV show. Check out this sneak peek. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, because they're Inner Sloth, and now it's Outer Sloths go from within to without. Clever. There's so many memes about this, but it looks cool. <laughs> no, everybody's dying. Whoa, they got got a couple people in on this. Okay. I saw Elijah Wood's name. Up next, we have Sonic X Shadow Generations. <laughs> a definitive greatest hit collection of 3D and 2D levels from Sonic and Shadow's history. Hmm. Now it's time for a glimpse of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official release date announcement. All right, any Sonic fans? They really have gotten better and better at making these games like look so good. I know a couple people that would be fans to just play with Shadow more, so. Shadow, right? A movie coming in December, too. Exciting stuff. All right. In the upcoming online survival game, Dune Awakening from Funcom, there is one small hmm. decision that unleashed a chain of events which set the stage for the story the player will experience. Let's find out for the first time what that is. The only peace I find is a future that never happened. I haven't really seen a lot of Dune. Like, I knew it was one an I, older movie. It was remade. Was it second was one? Born. 
I also just know all the memes about the the funny popcorn bucket. The future until it created me. But I see a narrow way, a path that might have been. What if my mother had obeyed her orders and given birth to a girl? Everything would change. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen. Looks get really weird really quick. Oh. Spice Melange. A war of assassins spreading across the planet. Fremen. Exterminated. No, Muad'Dib. No, Lizan Al Gaib. No, Kwisatz Haderach. All of my visions lead to horror, except for this one. This one leads to you. MMO? Oh. Well, Dune Awakening coming at Gamescom huh. ONL in August. Now it is time to see the announcement of another new game from a brand new development studio. Say, I've been very happy about the balance between uh, people talking on stage and like all the trailers and stuff. That's nice. Battle Aces. Okay. To tell us more about Battle Aces and show you the gameplay, here's David Kim from Uncapped Games. Thanks, Jeff. So Battle Aces is the RTS game for everyone. It's for players that are brand new to RTS as well as RTS veterans. We really want to bring the core fun of RTS to everybody, kind of like how games such as World of Warcraft did for MMOs or Hearthstone did for card games. So Battle Aces is an action-packed army versus army game that has a high emphasis on the strategy. We want to bring this type of very specific RTS fun to players in two major ways. Mm -hmm. First, we want to amplify both the in and out of game strategizing through unit decks. And what makes unit decks very cool is not only will players be able to define the exact way that they wish to play, but also players will be able to experience an endless uh, possibility of strategies. Second, we want to eliminate the tedious clicks required to play an RTS as much as possible so that players playing this game are experiencing only the fun parts of playing an RTS game. So if you want to learn more about Battle Aces or if you want to sign up for our beta test that's coming up very soon, then please uh, make sure to visit our website at playbattleaces.com. Thank you. Thank you, David. That was fantastic. All right. Our next premiere unveils the exciting new destination for a game that Shadow dropped at the Game Awards last year, the finals, with its unparalleled destruction wrapped in the world's oh, most deadly game yeah. show. Now, after dozens of updates and two seasons, we're unveiling where contestants will be going in the all-new season. This was a free game, wasn't it? On June thirteenth, I haven't seen too much of it because. And welcome to season three. Wasn't there like the some, finals. I guess, minor controversy about it or something like AI or whatever? It's like it looked cool, but then when I heard something like that, I was like, eh.
I dig the outfits. Also, it does look like an ad break is coming up here shortly. Again, we try to play only three minutes of ads to turn off the pre-rolls. Y'all know the drill in Twitch chat. Hopefully we'll get good ad timing. Again, game looks fantastic, but I just forget what was the kind of initial negative reaction about it when it first released. The finals in Kyoto. All right. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards performer, if I do say so myself, Sam Lake from Remedy. Oh. <laughs> oh, that guy. I think that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. You see, this is now the only way they let me come on stage <laughs> to tell you something exciting. <laughs> news about Alan Wake 2. Many of you have been posting your Remedy Game collection pictures on your shelves with Alan Wake 2 so far digital only, sadly missing. Well, we are excited to announce physical deluxe editions. I guess I didn't really do it was digital only. And physical collector's editions for Alan Wake 2 coming this fall. You can lock in your copy starting tomorrow. Next, we promised you some expansion content for Alan Wake 2, right? I'm thrilled to introduce you mm -hmm. all to Night Springs. Hmm. It contains three episodes with three familiar fan favorite playable characters in mysterious, terrifying, and quirky what if scenarios. It was a chance for us to really go out there as if we already didn't. <laughs> Night Springs will be playable in less than 24 hours. Wow. Tomorrow. Wow. Thank you. Now, with this world premiere, I invite you to step into Night Springs. That's almost done. Night Springs, a special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every time Again, I know a number of people that will be excited about there. this, and I'm excited and to like watch them play it. So. Familiar to us. It's like if it's not a game I'm interested in, I know others that are interested in it, so that's a bit of a win, you know. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. And I will come back for you, my love. And cut. Sean, I'm really happy. This is gonna get strange. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature. Something was different. A jam. Try the coffee. I have a shotgun. Well, I got a. Wait, is that. That's a real shotgun? <laughs> Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole goes? All right. Night Springs. Yeah, thank you guys for your patience through the ads. But yes, Alan Wake 2 is getting an expansion called Night Springs that drops tomorrow, along with uh, pre orders for their physical copies coming in fall. Hopefully this should last us for the rest of the show. Mastery over death itself. Again, I know numerous people that'll be so excited about the DLC, so. Where primal forces clash over the island's deepest secrets. Where ancient mysteries awaken.
That's right, New World, New World Eternum will launch on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC on October 15th. And now you can play the game start to finish as a solo player or play co-op and use cross-play as well. If you're watching SGF on TikTok Live right now, you can comment HSR in the chat to claim a special in-game bundle for Honkai Star Rail of Stellar Jade from TikTok Game Rewards. Wow. And speaking of Honkai Star Rail, Hoyoverse's latest space fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special program a few hours ago. But there's more. A sneak peek at the upcoming ex expedition featuring a beloved character who is clearly ready for the forthcoming journey with her brand new look. Any Honkai Star Rail fans? Why do people choose to sleep? It's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. Nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water. And the future that you don't want to face will never come. Hmm. It's dark and darker. Eh. Kind of a first person dungeon explorer. different classes? Different characters? names are interesting because I've seen like Dante, Virgil, Karin. Oh wow. The free game. Okay. There you have it. The unforgiving fantasy FPS dungeon PvPVE adventure. Darker oh. Darker is now live on both Steam and Epic Game Store today. So play it this Hello, friends and other right. groups can be in there Lots too. That's kind of cool. Here in person at the YouTube Theater, and we thank you for that. And ahead of the show, four lucky fans were upgraded to our VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket Upgrade. With Discover, you don't have to be a VIP to be treated like one. All right, now here's the announcement of the release date for Capcom's upcoming Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. No, that actually sounds cool. Like, if you can play with friends. Is it dark and darker?
I gotta say it's really cool, like, all these trailers that they're premiering. And, like, just, like, almost instant, like, releases. Like, within, like, the next couple of months. Hyper Light Breaker? Oh. Huh. Like, uh, with that one Hyper Light thing. Oh. I've seen a couple people stream this, it looks hilarious. So we wanted to take this time to dispel any of these completely unfounded rumors and allegations and reassure you that things here at Amcorp and the city of San Vansterdam have never been better. Things are going great here. We have absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. Everybody here at Amcorp loves this town. We think this town rules. Why would we hear a town that rules? I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. That makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. My what is this trailer? For weeks because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing to this town, all those lies. Mm. Everyone in M Corp is really good. Stop crying, all right? This is business. Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack. Tissues, come on, pal. Ah! Come on, faster. That's not about this. That's a, that's a father and son. That's actually a home issue. We love it here at MCorp, and we are not going anywhere. We'll be here a long time. Nobody panic. What was this about? I don't know what this was about. Can someone inform me what it, what MCOR is? Right. Uh, welcome back to Summer Game Fest, and now let's head to Sam Vansterdam for a new look at Skate from EA. Hey, Jeff, how you doing, bud? Aww. Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're gonna need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. I mean, I know a couple of people that would be happy with more skaters. And I guess it looks like you could also be like a skater builder. <laughs> Very exciting that people will finally be able to play skate on console in the near future. 
Our next world premiere is an indie sensation from Japan that is adorable, deadly, and has over 25 million players worldwide. That's right, I'm talking about Power World. Uh. I mean, just look at the giant depresso. Cheer up, buddy. It's Summer Game Fest. Now, here is the first major update announcement. A whole new island is coming. Hmm. It looked fun from what I, little bit I've seen of people playing it. Subspecies, huh? Does he even play Pal World? soon that was high on the steam charts uh, congrats to uh, power world on the new update next up we've got a big announcement from valorant here's andy ho and anar gilfeson from the valorant dev team guys <laughs> <laughs> thanks jeff hey everyone since 2020 we have been fortunate to serve players in their pursuit of what we call the valorant moment the big plays and clutches you make while all eyes are on you. Millions of players all over the world have earned their own Valor moments on PC. And today, the stage is set to welcome a whole new group of players. Let's take a look. Oh, console? Kind of vibe into all these trailers because like again it's like if it doesn't interest me that's fine because i know there's plenty of games out there that vice versa everybody their own tastes and such but these games still look really great and i know people that will enjoy them the game just not in my wheelhouse but it's still cool to see Yeah, great games for everybody. How it goes. Yeah, consoles. Okay, cool. Good for people. That was Valorant's core tactical gameplay. Everything you just saw was captured on console and with a controller. Valorant is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S this year. Our limited beta starts June 14th, and you can sign up right now at beta.playvalorant.com.
We are so excited for your input to make sure that Valorant plays great on console. And we hope to see you soon in the limited beta. But before we go, here's the head of Valorant Studio, oh, Anna Donald. Excuse me. Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. One of my favorite things about Valorant has been seeing the community build the game and the sport right along with us. For the last four years, we have been on the most amazing journey, bringing Valorant to players all around the world, most recently to China, where I'm currently at Valorant Masters, one of our largest global tournaments and community celebrations. Wow. Seeing the community evolve as new players bring their passion and expression to Valorant has been the biggest joy of the ride so far. And now we are ready and so, so excited to welcome a whole new group of players onto new platforms. We hope you'll join us and we can't wait to see where you take us next. This is really high pace. So we just press, I take no offense. I wanna know what's next. I can't like that, it kinda depends. And if you say it one more time for me, I know you love me best. I love you too. Why don't we play it again? Why don't we play it again? Why don't we play it again? Now we're not watching this on the highest version, but it kinda makes me wonder if it looks as scratchy, like Everyone else not watching it like 1080p. Exciting to have Riot on console with Valorant. Thanks for the team at thanks to the Ooh. team at Riot for sharing that with us here at SGF. Our next right. announcement is a that's why quality dropped. Apologies. Again, I don't have the greatest sharing internet. That with us here at yeah. SGF. Our next announcement is a big deal from our friends at DoorDash. Five weeks of deals with Summer of Dash Pass. Sign up for Dash Pass now for zero dollar delivery fees and get fifty percent off your next DoorDash order. Now here in the audience, we've got a guy who is normally co-streaming our shows, Yang Ya, who is also an amazing voice actor, who's been in countless games such as uh, Like a Dragon and God of War Ragnarok. Well, next week, Yang is gonna be voicing a character in a movie, Inside Out 2, where he plays a fictional video game character, Lance Slashblade, and we've got your exclusive mm. first look. Check this out. Welcome to your eternal fate. Oh, Lance Slashblade? But he's a video game character. Why is... Uh... Is he here? Yeah, I always thought Riley had a secret crush on him. I never saw the appeal. I long to be a hero, but darkness haunts my past. Oh, I'm I in a hundred percent. We were all banished here, deemed unfit, worthless. Don't you dare say that! You do not deserve to be thrown away! Uh, one second, Lance. Don't you remember his power move? I'm coming for you, Riley! Oh, yeah? Watch this! Come on! <laughs> no one is totally worthless. But I am a warrior <laughs> curse with a feeble attack. Then you must make your curse your gift. Shield yourself, my friends, for I shall set you all free! <laughs> <laughs> the number one gaming monitor brand in the U.S., Samsung, just released new 2024 oh, monitors weird. for gaming, work, and entertainment. Scan the QR code now to get up to $300 Samsung credit when you purchase through June 17th, plus a chance to win $5,000 Samsung credit for U.S. residents. Summer Game Fest 2024! Uh. Look at all of you cooped up watching video game announcements. And yes, Chicken does look a lot like Ken Jung, and today Chicken is excited to share a new game that Chicken and Chicken's buddies are in 
called Squad Busters. You fight monsters, collect lots of shiny things, and chicken has a big role. That's all that matters. And here is our big ad. Squad up. Oh, oh. I mean, cock-a-doodle-doo. Cock-a-doodle-doo. What in the world? What's going on? Who are you? Look at your phone. I'm the chicken. We're here to make your life more fun. I'm fine. I drink. I drink right out of the carton. Well, I don't think you know the definition of fun. Go on, get up. I am. But thought that was a Toy, Toy Story Two so reference. Ah. Uh, bed, dude. Get out of the bed. All right. Tell me about yourself. I, I think I'm an excellent candidate for the job uh, because. Uh, uh, because and your sword play time, but your sword play. He is a bridge. Yeah, he's that, one of the uh, most yeah. equitable people I've ever met. So great yeah. emotionally. Yeah. Also, I've pillaged a few villages. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. I'm just a lumberjack. I just don't think you're qualified to be an accountant. So. W which is why uh, you'll you'll have the job. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. What's the part you like? Here's more where that came from. Oh, I I hope not. <laughs> Guys, maybe everything is not. Squad activity. Oh, yeah. 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 Just oh, relax your brows, your mind. What is going on? <laughs> These clowns. You call this a squad? <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. Imposter. Jinx. 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 No, you jinx. You supposed to be a lumberjack? <laughs> hey, you wouldn't happen to want to go chop some trees, would you? I'd be delighted. <laughs> I think our job here is done. Where are you going? You can't leave. Aye, aye, aye. We ain't never leaving you. Good boy. Here. <laughs> that came from inside me. <laughs> where, it's like, where do you think chicken eggs come from, dude? Do you want me to shut the door? Or? <laughs> Uh. What? <laughs> All right, please join me in welcoming to the SGF stage Monster Hunter series producer, Mr. Riozo Tujimoto. Riozo san. Hi, thank you, Jay. Today, this is Monster Hunter Wilds. I have the latest footage. Today, this is the latest footage. Today, this is the latest footage. Today, this is the latest footage. Oh yeah, they did show like some Monster Hunter Wild stuff. Easily, I forget. Wait. Hello, everyone. We prepared a very special trailer today for Summer Game Fest. I want everyone to be on the lookout for a very mysterious large monster near the end of the trailer, as it's an important monster within the game. Hi. The first film is called "Bots Newcomers" and "Action." We are developing a new game to develop the character. Monster Hunter Wilds was released on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC. Moreover, today, we can play the game together as well, so I would like to play it with you. As you'll see, we're working to deliver a gaming experience that merges immersion and action. I hope players look forward to playing with their friends across different platforms when the game launches simultaneously in 2025 on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Hi, eh, last one. 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 Lastly, there will be a new trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds at opening night live at Gamescom in August. And our first public hands-on playable demo of Monster Hunter Wilds will also debut at Gamescom. Thank you. Just 
Shake them off! Follow me! Yeah. Here it comes! There's too many of them! Watch out for that glove! I will draw a tire! Cover me! You got it! Be careful! Be ready! This looks like gameplay. It looks good. No, birdie. Oh, that's problems. As I feared, they picked up our scent. I'll handle it. You find someplace safe. Thank you. Again, there hasn't and been a bad-looking game this entire time, so... Gamescom in August. Now, during last year's PlayStation Showcase, the game Phantom Blade Zero from S-Game wowed us all with its blazing fast combat and stylish art. Well, I'm honored to share with you the brand new trailer for the game featuring all real gameplay. Here's our final game of the show, Phantom Blade Zero! <laughs> Now this looked cool, but I forget how violent it was. Oh. Don't. Don't go up there. Turn back before it's too late. <laughs> Answer, yes. Yeah. Again, I'm always curious about a number of games based off of how they look. And like the kind of stories that they'll tell. But it's also a matter of uh, how violent it is, because I'm a soft gamer. Y'all know this. Because I was interested in like the Assassin's Creed series and such, but then it's just like it's so, it's so violent. Blades on her shoes? Nice, nice. That looks so good. Full demo that Media will be playing this weekend, so you'll hear much more about that. And that's going to do it for our Summer Game Fest live show. Whee! Thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. I had such an amazing time. Happy Summer Game Fest, everyone. Thanks, Joy. And we have so much more, so stay tuned, because Day of the Devs is coming up live oh, right yeah. now on the stream, featuring an hour of indie game reveals, oh, including the next game from Cappy, and that's followed by Devolver Direct. Now, keep checking SummerGameFest.com for other event streams this weekend, and we'll see you again live this August 20th in Germany for Gamescom Opening Night Live. Thanks Whee! for watching, everyone. Remember, Day of the Devs starts right now. All right. Well, that was good. I enjoyed it, as I hope all of you did as well. But that was a long, a lot of presentation and a lot of stuff. There's still more news to come, 
So of course I encourage you guys to still continue to watch and everything, but I am going to head off for the night. So thank you everybody so much for watching, whether you've liked or chatted. I appreciate all of you guys hanging out for the tunic, hanging out, enjoying all the uh, game announcements with me. Um, oops. Um, of course, again, if you just go and search it for yourself, you can find it, no problem. Um, but uh, remember, reminder, tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Uh, Central Time, my time, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern, we will be co-streaming the Wholesome Direct, the next biggest game announcement event that I am totally looking forward to. It is completely in my wheelhouse with all the cute games that are going to be coming out. I encourage you, if you enjoy cute games or just like watching game announcements along with me, to join me. We should go live, hopefully at the latest, by like 1045-ish just to get ads and everything out of the way, talk about what we're going to be uh, watching, anything we're going to be hyped for and everything. So join us tomorrow morning for a wholesome direct. I'm looking forward to it, as I hope all of you are as well. Let me see if I can send somebody off, send you off to you guys, because this has been a ton of fun and we like to keep that going. Let me see. Oh, perfect. I know who I'm going to send you to. I'm going to send you guys to Dr. Doobie. Because he, I believe, is continuing to watch the Day of the Devs. So go over, wish him well. Yeah, he's watching like the whole thing. So if you want to continue to have a comfy, cozy, welcoming stream environment to watch, I do encourage you to head over to Dr. Doobie. Again, our raid message uh, for those of you that have been with us before is we raid, we sit, this stream's a hit. Because Doobie is a very cool dude, also loves RPGs, fun games um all that kind of stuff but yeah do encourage you to go over wish him well enjoy the rest of the uh, game announcements and stuff with him again i'll be back tomorrow morning with the rare saturday stream with the wholesome direct and everything else again if you enjoyed yourself i encourage you to follow so you know what you're doing and when if you'll continue to participate in the community and catch up on any vods that you might have missed and story playthroughs we've done in the past uh, you can check out the youtube check out our discord through the links in the chat but that's going to be it for me so for now i hope you all will have a lovely day or evening wherever you are in the world and i hope we'll see you all again soon again we're gonna go over and say hi to doobie while he is watching day of the devs and everything after this and i'll see you all again soon take care everyone